I've been bullied half of my life, you know what I'm saying? So it started with the the name calling, then the pushing, then the shoving, and the next thing you know, I'm getting kicked and jumped in restrooms. And I've been as low as it could possibly go with bullying. I dealt with depression, I dealt with the suicidal tendencies and attempts. I've dealt with every bit of it. And I felt so alone. The last thing I want to do is to make anyone feel alone. As you can see, I'm all by now. I lack all pigmentation in my hair, skin, eyes, and I have a specific form of albinism called ocular albinism. So I have literally no pigmentation whatsoever. I grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood and a predominantly black school. And children, you know, they don't know how to deal with something that's so different. And it started there. I want to let people know that I'm that I'm there. Bullying is a real thing. Depression is a real thing and it should not be taken lightly. Yes, it is a platform that I use to better contact my peers and youth. I speak, but sometimes just simply talking doesn't do it. Music helps pierce that. When you're born, when you're a baby, you know no hate. You know no pain. You know no discrimination. That is taught. That stuff is taught to us as children. The second we remove things from our youth that teach that type of hate, stop labeling things. Just, let's just love. If we could just teach love to our youth and teach love to our people and keep teaching that in our communities, then yes, there will be a change eventually. I would get us more involved as people into the environment and get more leaders to continue to push that love and that peace and that care onto others. Stand up for human rights.